I have some awesome news. Awesome news. I just saved 15 by, uh, percent by switching to Geico. Nope. You don't save 15% by switching to Geico. You just don't. Actually, I've been with USAA for about 14 years. And I've tried looking at other rates and things, and nobody can match them. So, if you are a veteran or, a, you know, a relative of a veteran, you could probably get in there and get insurance. And why am I plugging USAA? Why? This isn't an advertising video. Anyhow. Today, I don't have a story. Just wanted to talk a little bit about my both my channels, three of my channels, two of them. What do I got? Three channels. And future plans, and maybe explain a few things. And uh, if you hang on to the end of this video, you might have some answers. Or you, if you don't care, then I guess you won't have the answers. But today... I'm going to be putting up a video on Washita Mountain uh, Living Channel. I'm going to get to work on that as soon as I'm done here. That probably will explain a few things. I had plans for a this big video, right? And after observing some of the trends on YouTube right now, or on my channel, I'm not going to do that. Just I, I'm going to use the footage that I've already taken of that video, and it'll be in today's video. I'll probably put it up this afternoon sometime. But I'm not going to wait the months and months it takes to finish this video. But what I will do is make videos along the way. You'll see what it's about. You'll have to watch the video over there. Now do me a favor, if you're not subscribed to that channel over there, go over there. You know, give me a subscribe, that channel. <laughs> I lost 200 subscribers when I quit doing YouTube. And I only quit for about... Actually, on that channel, it was almost two months. And I understand that. You're probably losing people that you gained from shorts. Getting shorts. So, but it takes a long time just to get 100. But I want to steer away, and I've been trying to do that, from the homesteading niche... Even though uh, that's pretty much where my material fits in. Uh, I'm not the guy that moved from the city, blah, 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 building the homestead. No. I'm the guy that moved here uh, from the city. But I've most of my life, my adult life, spent living in the country. I despise cities. I... I do not like even driving through them. I hate them. I don't like being around big groups of people. So I don't go to concerts. I don't go to big social events. Because I don't want to be around people. I'd rather be here around my dogs. I have no desire to travel anymore to go to places. Where would I go? You know? Where would I go that would what I would enjoy? I, I couldn't go to Vegas. I couldn't go... Any, you know, a uh, cruise, that'd be the last place I'd want to go is on a cruise. Because there's, you're trapped, oh my god, that'd be a nightmare. Being trapped on there, I don't know how many people f they get on them things, uh, over a thousand. Oh, I, I'd have to, I'd be the, you'd see me in the news. Man jumps off ship. People drove him nuts. <laughs> YouTube is very hard to figure out. And I'm going to tell you something. I have spent, I, I have, for the last two weeks, I have had a horrible, horrible case of insomnia. Uh, I kind of know what's brought it on. I'll probably touch on that in today's video on the other channel. But it's been terrible, man. I will lay there for an hour. And I got sleeping pills the doctor gave me. I took one. They don't do nothing. Trapezone or something like that. And I don't like taking stuff, any kind of pill. They don't work. So I kind of fell asleep last night about 3.30 this morning. Rooster woke me up at 6. So I'm, I, for some reason I can lay down in the afternoon and get a good hour and a half, two hour nap. 
but it's kind of hard to do because uh, you, you got stuff beeping the cell phone. I finally started just turning that off because this phone, I hate it. It just notification after notification. I have got in there and tried to mess with this. Nothing works, man. That thing will start downloading games on its own. Well, I don't get on my phone to play games. I don't even get on my computer to play games. So getting off the... Uh, I'm getting off point, ain't I? I don't really know what niche I belong in, if I even belong on YouTube at all, but I'm going to continue to make videos. But this big video that I had planned was kind of holding me back from making any more videos. You'll understand why when the video comes out. And... I want to use what I'm doing to help other people because this country right now, I'm seeing a trend that is unbelievable and it has nothing to do with politics. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You're just going to have to watch the video. I'll explain everything. It might be a good 45 minute long video. I don't know. But I would appreciate it if you're not subscribed or, I mean, you don't even have to subscribe. Go on over there and check it out. It'll be up, I can't tell you when. It could be up 1 o'clock, could be up at 7 o'clock tonight. Just whenever I get done. A good good part of what I was doing is already filmed. I just got to edit it. And another reason I'm not going to hold out and do the big video is because I just spent two weeks making a video on that channel over the last three years of things. Because I never had a video of the edition and what I, all the things I've done over the last couple of years. So I spent two weeks making a video, put that up. Nobody watching it. Nobody's watching it. It's got like 1,800 views and that's not very many. Uh, I was five subscribers away from 13,000 subscribers. When I quit making videos and lost 200 on that channel. So we're, we're, we're climbing back up. But I look at it this way. If they unsubscribe from me because I took a break from YouTube, I didn't need them on there anyway, do I? So, so that will be out tonight. Uh, I had a couple of things going on, you know, and at the time it wasn't feasible i had to go get a biopsy done on my thyroid that gave me a little scare that ended up being okay it was benign uh that was not a pleasant experience it wasn't i wouldn't say it's painful um they had two spots on my thyroid i didn't even know where the damn thing was until I, you know, what what they did is the va took a cat scan because i was a smoker for 30 years so you got to get a cat scan every year and then i guess they got the thyroid they found nodules one was pretty big and then there was another one that was pretty big so when i went in there they if you've ever had that procedure done they take a needle and you're laying on a table very uncomfortable for me because i don't lay down much i don't even sleep in a bed and they take a series of samples I think it was five all together. He sticks the needle in, jabs you around. They numb it up a little bit. Well, they numb it up because it... But you still feel that needle go in and the pressure, and then they get a sample, put it in a vial. They got the, I don't know, pathologist, whatever it is there that checks that stuff to see if it's a good sample. And then if she tells him it's a good sample, then he goes and he gets the next one. And he did it five times for each nodule. But the other nodule was underneath the, the thyroid. And that one I felt. That one, I mean, I have a very, very, very high pain tolerance. But I squirmed a little bit. And they just put lidocaine, you know, a local in it uh, to numb it up. But those came back good. So now every year I got to get that checked as well. So, which is a good thing. Now I know I don't got lung cancer. My lungs are actually perfectly normal. I smoke two packs a day. Uh, when did I quit? 13 years ago. But I smoked two packs a day probably from the time I was 
I started smoking at 13 in front of my parents. They had caught me so many times, maybe 14. It was young. They had caught me so many times. They knew, you know, well, you're going to smoke, smoke. And back then, you could smoke anywhere. Uh, it was not frowned upon like it is today. But I'm so glad I quit. Uh, some people never quit. Some people can smoke till they're 90. Never get to have a problem. But my lungs are normal. And my heart's good. So if you've got those two things going for you, just pray nothing else goes on. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want this to become a medical thing. I'm fine medically. You know, I got my issues with, with the back and the knees and the feet. Those will never get better. But I have found a way to help with that. Again, that will be in tonight's video. And I'm going to go on there tonight and ask, you know. What am I going to ask? I don't know. I was going to ask those people on that channel to come over and, you know, at least if they don't like my channel, come over here and subscribe because I want to do more with this channel. I want to kind of lean towards doing these, but I know not everybody likes these podcasts. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to try to come up with something every day, but it, I enjoy doing it. And they don't even have to watch them, but help my channel grow kind of come over here but i'm still going to be doing a lot on the other channel so don't get on there and unsubscribe we're not i'm probably going to be doing more than anything so after today you'll kind of know the cat will be out of the bag hey didn't we have that video yesterday yeah the cat will be out of the bag after this evening should explain a lot i hope so otherwise i give up and i'm going to tell you what I have been spending the last two days, I have been watching a lot of videos on how to improve. Uh, if you don't do YouTube, it's hard to understand. But there's certain things you, you have to do when you're uploading, how you present the video, the descriptions. And I never spent any time doing descriptions or tagging. Tagging is very important. They tell you it's not, but it actually is. There's a program I downloaded that what it does is it looks at your video. You go in to edit it. It looks at your video and it tells you where you need to improve. And they rate you from 0 to 100. So I started going back to my old videos and fixing them. And so now when I upload in the future, those tags will be in place. Uh, they should do much better. And I understand I'm probably a hard guy to figure out with my sense of humor, my how I come off gruff. I'm not changing. I'm not going to get on there and try to act, be an actor, and be somebody that I'm not. So what you see is what you get, and I know not everybody likes me. I don't care. I ain't in no family, okay? So whatever. Just going to do my own thing, guys all i can do so sorry i don't have a story today maybe maybe i'll come up with one real quick jack be nimble jack be quick he didn't jump high enough and he burnt his oh wait a minute yeah this is youtube i can't i can't say stuff like that all right guys thanks for watching be looking for that video tonight you know the best way to do that head on over there subscribe check out the community post there's a poll up there and that's a little secret too that i learned i'm gonna let y'all in on it if you guys have a channel put those image polls up they pull a lot of people to your channel no kidding and i seen the results of the one yeah like 200 people voted on it so i don't know how exactly it works but when you make a community post, that goes out there to the Alpo rhythm and, and it brings people to your channel. I would have never thought that. Also, sharing your video on Facebook, which I, I am not a fan of Facebook. 
but I've started posting that on there and there is a page in your analytics where you can get on there it tells you where a lot of your viewers are coming from Facebook is huge you get a lot of people from Facebook and I only got like 500 followers on Facebook it was always just mostly the friends I've known all my life but I've been allowing my subscribers on my channel so uh, if you want to subscribe or follow me on Facebook send me a friend request uh, Mike Dunn D-U-N-N if you do not have a profile picture I am not going to accept the friend request and that has happened several people um, some people just don't do Facebook but if you don't have a profile picture and then it also tells you who who they who else they know and a lot of them you know if I recognize who you are I'll accept you otherwise have a picture uh, have and I do check because there's trolls on that I check to see if it's an actual page that it wasn't just created the day before so if you do that you know I do silly things I've probably got I had to dig through Facebook photos yesterday to look for a picture oh my god I don't know how many years I've been on Facebook since it started but there were thousands of pictures to some I don't even remember taking <sighs> all right thanks for watching happy trails